Hi guys, my name is Mackenzie Warford, I'm the owner of Papa's Farm. first crop went into our troughs in November 21st, 2021, and we haven't looked back since then. I operate a 2,400 square foot greenhouse. We grow a variety of crops here, such as lettuce, loose leaf lettuce, romaine lettuce, iceberg lettuce, bib lettuce, Swiss chard, kale, a variety of different herbs. Recently we started experimenting with green onions. We also do traditional produce such as turnip greens. A typical day in the greenhouse could consist of many different things such as seeding, harvesting, transplanting, cleaning these troughs, cleaning the entire system itself, and during the winter we end up with fun situations where we have to end up shoveling snow. Some of the real benefits of having your hydroponic system inside of a greenhouse, well for one, the natural sunlight that gets to touch the plants, there's nothing like plants grown in a natural environment. But then, you know, there's always a flip side to every good situation, there's also a bad situation. Uh, when Hurricane Fiona ripped through Newfoundland, you can imagine I was quite tense and it was a very stressful time for us. Being in a hydroponic greenhouse, you're facing all the weather environments and you actually have a little bit of a harder time dealing with uh, controlling that environment. But it can be done and we're living proof that it is possible. Now that you know a little bit about the greenhouse, I'll take you for a little look around and explain how things work. The beginning of the plant's life finds them here on the heat mats. Right now, these plants are already at the point where they don't need the covers. So this here is romaine. And the grow medium is called an oasis cube. See, I got another batch down here. And we call this one the G1 here in Papa's Farm. This is the germination station number one. We'll move on to the G2. Here is my G2 station. It is a little bit smaller version of my NFT system. It also has a main tank which recycles the water and the fertilizer and the plants come in this system when they're the smallest and they only receive half the fertilizer of what they receive in the entire system, the big NFT system. From the G2 the plants make their way into these troughs here, which are called the nursery troughs. And they stay in these troughs for about two to three weeks, depending on how long it takes for them to get big root systems to have to be moved into what is called the finishing troughs. The spacing on the finishing troughs is eight inches. So it gives those plants enough room for their roots to grow. See down there, I had a big harvest recently, so we're filling all that back in. As I mentioned, we grow a variety of different produce here. This right here is Swiss chard. If I were to compare it to something, uh, I would say it has a bit of a texture and taste of cabbage. It's absolutely delicious. Here is our traditional turnip greens that we just had to harvest from recently. So they're looking a little bit small right now, but still delicious. 
Here's the king of my romaine lettuce. Absolutely large, beautiful. We have a batch of small lettuce, romaine lettuce coming up. They've got a little while before they reach that stage. Over here, this here is the young fire red lettuce. This is a loose leaf variety. And then we move down and we can see some mature fire red lettuce. Now the loose leaf lettuces can be harvested time and time again. So that's why my mature loose leaf lettuce looks to be about the same size as the baby and the young loose leaf lettuce. But that's because I've already hauled big harvests out of my mature lettuce and it's growing again. Here we have some beet tops, which are delicious. A nice mix for your salad mix. And then mustard greens, which go, cook, go good cooked just like uh, the traditional turnip greens here. Some, the hydroponic system itself starts right here where we have our main tank, which is covered up, not allowing the light in so we don't build up algae. We're hooked up to a 1.5 horsepower pump with a filtration system. Pressure valves comes up to a three quarter inch line. And then it's spaghetti hose, we call this, which is about a quarter inch line with rubber grommets. So it just feeds the water in one end and all the troughs, it, it might be hard to tell, but all the troughs are leaning downwards, right? It's three and a half inch drop from one side to the other. So the water flows in on this end, just goes all the way down to the end. And down on the other side there, zoom in a bit, there's an ease trough over there. And that ease trough is tilted all the way down towards the main tank. So it's gravity fed. There's nothing pushing the water back to the main tank. It all flows naturally. And the same thing on the other side. And so that's why the hydroponic system is so efficient and useful. It's got a recycling system. It always recycles its fertilizer and its water. And of course, no greenhouse would be the same without a custom geothermal system. We got 2,400 feet of weeping tile under the ground here. Which we use to heat and cool the greenhouse. Here is a look at the geothermal on the other side and our pressure tank where our water comes in from our artesian well. Now we're at the opposite end of the greenhouse where the geothermal exhaust comes and hooks up to my wood furnace for extra circulation. Well, that's it folks. That's my greenhouse and that's how it's set up. If you guys have any questions, feel free to look me up or find me on Facebook, find me on YouTube, Papa's Farm. And also we've just started the Canadian Hydroponics Association. So if anybody wants to really get involved with hydroponics, we got a group of professional individuals that are gonna help you get started and be successful in hydroponics. So look us up, Canadian Hydroponic Association. You can look us up on our website, can-hydro.com.